Hey everybody and welcome back to Restaurant Recipe Recreations. This channel is dedicated in teaching you how to create your favorite signature dishes from the most popular restaurants. And I have had a very big film day today. So far today, I have filmed Applebee's spinach and artichoke dip. I have filmed the baked potato soup from Outback Steakhouse. And so when I do do a lot of filming in one day, I like to kind of end up the day with something a little bit easy. And this is definitely easy because as you can see, this is going to be a salad episode. And I'm going to teach you in this episode how to recreate the Olive Garden bottomless bowl of salad. Usually in my episodes, I like to give like a little bit of a backstory and some history about the restaurant that I'm featuring and the dish itself that I'm featuring but in all honesty I think that I would be more likely to win the Mega Millions um, than I would be to find somebody that has not had the bottomless bowl of house salad at the Olive Garden so I'm not gonna go really into a lot of detail about what is in this salad because I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and if you want to learn a little bit more about Olive Garden then hop on over to my Olive Garden fettuccine Alfredo episode and there I talk a little bit more about the restaurant and the history of the restaurant. One thing that I'd like to mention about the Olive Garden dressing is that of course you can buy it in the grocery store. Um, they have it in the dressing aisle and it says Olive Garden house dressing, but you don't really want to do that because first of all, the bottled version is never the same as it is in the restaurant because they have to pack it with so many preservatives in order to keep it shelf stable that it never really truly tastes like the original. And the other thing is, is that everything is always better homemade. It just always is. And this is gonna take you like five minutes to put together. So save the money on that, make it at home. And then every time you decide that you wanna have the salad, you could just whip up a fresh batch of dressing. And then anything that's left over, just leave in a container in your refrigerator. Trust me, it's just the better way. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. But before we get started, everybody, I would like to ask that if you are enjoying this channel and if you are getting a lot of value from it, if you find it entertaining, if you find it informative, and if you are in fact learning how to recreate your favorite signature dishes from the most iconic and popular restaurants in America, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the like button too. Obviously it helps me with YouTube, but it does help me personally too. It helps me to grow with my channel and it also helps me to understand what my viewers are really interested in, what they like about my videos and what they'd like to see changed. And so while we're on that, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below. Or if you have a request for a recipe or a restaurant that you would like me to feature, drop that in the comment section below too and I'll be sure to take a look at it. So enough of that, let's go ahead and get started with the Olive Garden's bottomless bowl of house salad. We're going to start with one half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil and you're gonna to wanna to put all of this into a food processor or a blender. Six tablespoons of mayonnaise, if you know me, you know that uh, Duke's is the only mayonnaise that I will use two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Next is the juice of an entire lemon. To get extra juice out of citrus, it's best to roll it very, very firmly on a counter, obviously, or a cutting board. That kind of loosens up the pulp in there and it just gives you more juice. I always squint when I squeeze citrus uh, because I wear contacts and so I'm afraid that the citrus juice is gonna fly up into my eye and hurt like hell. Okay, so we got the juice of one lemon. Next, it's three teaspoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of kosher salt, cracked black pepper, one very large garlic clove, fresh. And this is just Good Seasons Italian packet that again, you can get in the, in the dressing aisle, um, but it's just the flavor packet, it's the Italian seasoning. So you wanna do one and a half teaspoons of the Italian seasoning. And then lastly for the dressing, we're just gonna do a half of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. That's it. So make sure all of your ingredients are in your either your blender or your food processor, and we're just gonna whip that up. Okay, give her a little taste. Spot on. Okay, so see, why would you ever buy store-bought dressing? That took less than three minutes, and you had probably everything in your pantry or your refrigerator already. So for the dressing, we're done with that. We're just gonna go ahead and transfer it into whatever container you like to keep your dressings in, because we're gonna set that aside for now. And then I'm going to show you all of the ingredients for the actual salad itself. So that dressing makes a half quart of a container. Okay, so for this salad, I'm going to show you what Olive Garden puts into their salad. If there's something that you don't like, then leave it out. If there's something that I don't mention that you really love in your salads, then put it in there. I mean, this is your salad. Make it the way that you want to eat it. I'm just gonna show you the way that they do it and then you just amend it to your taste. I'll also talk about the lettuce mix um, in just a bit. 
but we're gonna start with two small head of romaine and you want them in bite-sized pieces. Don't julienne the lettuce or anything like that. So this is just like a real rough chop, which is also another reason why the salad is so easy. I have one small head of iceberg lettuce. Go ahead and remove any of the sort of funky outer leaves like there always is with iceberg lettuce. And then again, just a very rough chop. This is the smallest head of red cabbage that I could find. Um, I'm not gonna use nearly this much. It was the smallest one that I could find. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I'm gonna do with it. We are going to julienne this. So the romaine and the iceberg were not julienne. They're nice, big, kind of larger bite-sized pieces. This is going to be in a thin strip. Gonna use about a third of it. I'm just very, very, very thinly slicing this. Now what this salad mix is called with the iceberg, the romaine, and the julienne red cabbage is an American blend. You can buy American blend salad mix in bags already at your grocery store. So you don't even really need to go through all of this. You can just buy the mix in the store, in the bag, and we'll call it a day. Okay, next thing to go into this salad are some matchstick carrots. I've got one small red onion. Go ahead and slice your red onion, about a fourth of an inch thick. Break up the rings, make it look pretty. Next, I have a nice firm Roma tomato. About the same thickness as the onion, just regular black olives. And now, here are the two most popular things that are in the Olive Garden salad, aside from the dressing itself. It's the whole pepperoncini and these big Texas toast croutons. Whatever Texas toast does to their croutons makes them very, very unique. And then the pepperoncini, the whole pepperoncini. Go ahead and plop these on there. If you don't like these, then don't do them. If you really like them, then do extra. I mean, who cares, right? It's just a salad. <laughs> We're not trying to change lives here. We're just trying to have some fun and recreate amazing restaurant dishes. Let me get that dressing, hold on one second. Just wanna drizzle it on the top. I mean, you know how to do it. I don't really need to show you how to drizzle dressing and toss a salad, do I? Probably not. And I do encourage you to visit my Olive Garden Fettuccine Alfredo episode. It's probably somewhere over here, maybe over here. And tonight for dinner, you could be having Olive Garden in your own home. Inexpensive, easy, and delicious. I hope that you enjoyed this video, everybody. I hope that you enjoy all of my videos. If you hit the notification button, you'll be notified of all of my upcoming episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, and that way you'll know of my upcoming episodes as well. We just got into Hanukkah. We're coming up on the Christmas season. Go ahead and just ring out 2020 um, on a high note. I hope that you're with friends. I hope you're with family, and I hope that you're with your loved ones. But I just wanted to kind of wish everybody a happy holidays early on. I do think about y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I do love y'all. So until I see you again, everybody, have an awesome, awesome day. Cheers. I'm just going to hunker over this massive bowl of salad. <laughs> just like...